and thanks for joining us again for another exciting episode of All Over the Place. My name is Presenter. And right now, we're going to learn a little bit about imagination, creativity, the future. Okay, put on your thinking caps and just think. Do I need a life coach? Does Sky need a life coach? You be the judge. Not many people are an architect, but I am. Yes, I'm very good at it too. Oh, I certainly am. Hmm. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that doesn't sound healthy. Oh no. Well, should I go to work today? Maybe I. Maybe I did. I, I, I'd infect everybody, and and, and, and then we, we we couldn't build for a little while, because because everyone would 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 be sick. But but it, oh, but if I don't go, then then nobody will be building anyway, because I I, I won't be there to tell people what to do and and, and where to put the windows and. All right, all right, all right, all right. I know what I will do. I know what I will do, yes. Whew. Life is hard, life really is. Oh, just missed out the number I did. Try it again. Yes, it's, it is, Sky. How did you guess? I know these things. Yes, well, well my throat is, is feeling rather peculiar today. Uh, and, uh, yes, I, I feel a little under the weather, but I, I, I really should probably go to work. So, I, I was wondering, sh should I stay home or, 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 or should I go? I mean, what should I... What should I do? Stay home! Are you sure? One hundred percent. Okay, thank you so much. I just, I just really don't know how you think of these things. You, you, you're just brilliant, you are. You're just brilliant. Thank you. You've sorted out the whole day. Joyce. I was just thinking about the time when I was very much younger, in my teens, and we lived in the country, in a country town, and uh, we didn't have a lot of visitors, very quiet place, and uh, all of a sudden we'd think, the Rawley man's coming. And this was the man who had a little suitcase with all the different sorts of things in it, like chicory coffee and all the cough medicines, syrup of figs and all this. And uh, my mother would prepare for the Rawleys man. She'd bake a cake and uh, we'd, uh, he'd bring his case in and open it. We'd look at all these things and pick what we wanted. And then Mum would bring in the cake and we'd have the, the teapot, nice cups of tea, and the Rawley man would sit down and we'd all have a chat. It was like a little afternoon tea with a visitor and it was a wonderful day. <laughs> Woo! 
I did. I nipped off a bit after the judging. Her chocolate sponge tasted like sugared creosote. I gave a bit to Joe. Even Joe spat it out. I mean, he's a sandwich short of a picnic and he knows sifted from unsifted flour. Yes. The texture was all over the place. The aeration was very uneven. The icing was runny and it was double iced in the middle where the sag was. Yeah, judges didn't pick that up, did they? I mean, a woman doesn't like to boast, but my caramel tart is a class above her baked goods. I mean, even Sarah's shortcake is better than that. Even your pumpkin and carrot souffle is better than that. She's asked us over to afternoon tea. She'll be showing off her cup, won't she? And she'll be giving us a piece of her prize-winning chocolate sponge. Oh, I couldn't eat it. It had turned to ashes in my mouth. Well... I can't stand around here talking to you all day. Hooroo! To add to your enjoyment of the movies, we offer cold, refreshing, full-flavored drinks. Choice popcorn, freshly popped, crisp and tasty, and richly coated, taste-filled candy bars that are sure to please you. Yes, there are many good things here for your pleasure. Yes, there are many wonderful things to keep the family together. Candy is a good start. You know, there's no better way to learn English than from a dummy and a discarded mannequin of that. Poor old solitaire. She has enormous psychological problems, but she helps us with our English. So here she is today. Solitaire and your English lesson. Every day, Solitaire spends some time at the bus stop. She finds it relaxing and enjoys being out. Her handsome boyfriend, Craig, the model, is a bus driver. And he often passes the bus stop where she relaxes. If he goes past, he will toot the horn of the bus. And she will wave to him. Later, she goes shopping and a model gives her that look. Solitaire loses her cool. I've had you, bitch. Come on, bitchy witchy. Come on, bitchy witchy. Get off your high horse and come here. Bitchy witchy, that's all you are. Stop looking at me. Today, we heard bitchy witchy. If you hear bitchy, it means spiteful. If you hear witch, it means ugly. Normally, these two words don't go together. But who cares? Pronounce the words now. Bitchy, witchy. Yes, that's good. Now try it in a sentence. The old lady said, You bitchy, witchy. 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 The old lady said, you bitchy witchy. The old lady said, you bitchy witchy. Wonderful. Try to use bitchy witchy in a sentence every day this week. Right here, okay? I'll be right here. Okay, next. Hi, um, my name's Joel, and I'm going for Elliot out of ET, the extraterrestrial. Okay. Coke. You see, 
You drink it. It's a drink. You know, like food. Oh, oh. And these are toys. These are men. You've got Greedo, and you've got Hammerhead, and you've got Walrus Man, and you've got Lando Calrissian. Look, see, they can even have wars. Ready? Look at this. You go. <laughs> Look, a fish. See, the fish eat the fish food. And then the shark, the shark eats the fish. But nobody eats the shark. And see this? It's Pez. It's candy. You put the Pez in here, and then you lift the head, and the candy comes out. And you eat it. You want some? Oh. And this? This is a peanut. You eat it. But you can't eat this one, because this one's fake. See? This is money. You put the money in the peanut. See? It's a bank. See? Oh. And then this. This is a car. This is how we get around. See? A car. Hey, hey, wait a minute. You can't eat them. Oh. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Stay. Stay. I'll be right here, okay? I'll be right here. Next! There's just not enough work for actors. Lucky I'm not an actor. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Oh, hi. Yes, so did I get the part? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I'll thank you. Bye.